All right, so let's go ahead and get into my EDC, man, Everyday Carry. This is one video that I enjoy making the most, and honestly, I like watching them because it's always cool to see what people carry with them day in and day out as they leave about the house, all right? So these are my things that I got going on with me. It's fall, so I guess this is gonna be called Fall EDC because, yeah, that's fitting for the time of year it is, all right? So I got a few products over here. Hopefully, you can grab some. Hopefully, you can go out there and purchase one and you can go ahead and enjoy it as much as I do, all right? So let's go ahead and kick it off. The first thing that I know a lot of you are not leaving about the house without, and that's gonna be your smartphone, and this is my smartphone of choice. Now, I do have a bunch of them, but the iPhone 14 Pro Max is my main phone with my main number up here, and this is sitting in the 256 gig space black colorway. Now, I decided to go space black this year to kind of keep it clean, keep it real subtle. The graphite usually is a little bit boring to me, but this one is basically graphite junior, junior, and it really wasn't the space black that I was expecting, man. Let me know in the comment section down, down below if you're looking for that just all matte black iPhone. I think we're all waiting for that, man. But I decided to go with the Pro Max because of basically two reasons, and that's going to be screen real estate and battery. If I got to leave about the house from beginning into early in the morning and go until tonight, there's one thing that I know is going to last, and that's going to be my iPhone no matter how much I use it, no matter how much I'm on it. This is going to last me all day, and I'm, and I'm good, all right? I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about being around a charger. I don't really have to worry about carrying extra charger chargers and things like that with me, although I do just for backup purposes, but the Pro Max always gets it done and the screen real estate just from re responding to YouTube comments, you know, communicating with everybody, text message, I message, FaceTime, uh, emails, everything is just a little bit more comfortable on the bigger display. So that's kind of the main reason why I always decide to go with the Pro Max. I love the smaller Pro version, man, but the Pro Max just fits me well. I got big mitts and this big boy right here handles me just fine. So definitely when we are talking about the Pro Max, this is definitely my phone of choice right here. Now, you know we not leaving this thing right here naked, all right? You know we not leaving the Pro Max naked. You guys know I talk about my cases, and one that I have to tell you that I absolutely love, and one that stays in rotation is gonna be the Kadabe Sheets. Now, they are a channel sponsor, but all that aside, man, I don't really have a daily case. I rotate through a bunch of them, but this is one that's always in rotation, and this is one of the best cases that you can get for your 14 Pro Max series, all right? And the reason why I like it, and all people always ask me, T, why do you like this case so much? Because one, it's a rigid frame, all right? It's not gonna be super flimsy. That's just gonna bend and lose its shape over time. None of that's going on when it comes to the sheath. You have a nice textured design right here. In my opinion, it's not going to leave any marks, any fingerprints on your cases or anything like that. You have very nice responsive but buttons when it comes to the volume up and down power button. Very strong MagSafe magnet right here. And then when you pop this case in, this case has an A1 fit, all right? I'm talking about when it fits all the way around, you don't get any sloppy sides or anything like that. And it protects the phone just fine. We're talking about up to six feet of drop protection. I've dropped my 13 Pro Max in the sheath numerous times and it's always been perfectly fine. And this is a case that is gonna be very affordable sitting under the $40 mark, man. This is a very nice case with a very affordable price point and it's gonna keep it protected for just everyday drops. And even when you drop it, it's not really gonna show really the damage that the case took when it dropped just because of the material that you are looking at, all right? And this comes in a few other colors. You get a steel blue, you get also get a green and they also have a very dope crimson color coming out very soon that I cannot wait to get and throw on my Pro Max. So this is gonna be the Kadabe sheet. So you wanna pick one up, make sure you head down to the comments down below, the description down below and go pick yourself up one. I don't think you'll be disappointed because I've put a lot of people onto this case and they have been amazed once they got this case in hand. All right, so moving right along, let's go ahead and get into the next product, which is probably my favorite Apple product so far this year. And that's going to be, yes, the Apple Watch Ultra, all right? Now, I'm not telling you guys to go out there and spend 800 bucks on a, on a, on a smartwatch. I'm not telling you to go do it. But if you do got the funds to get it, man, I don't think you will be disappointed. The Apple Watch Ultra changed the way I use my Apple Watch. Before, I literally just slapped this thing on my wrist and didn't care about it besides using it for notifications. But when it comes to this one, with the bigger display, the brighter display, the flat edge, the better battery life, you do not have to be a person who scuba dives, who, see, who swims with the dolphins, who who climbs Mount Everest, and sky, uh, sky dives off a plane. You don't have to do any of those things to really enjoy the Apple Watch Ultra. I enjoy it for the simple things, for two things alone, kind of the same thing that I like about my Pro Max, battery life and screen size. Interacting with this, doing different things just makes it a little bit more easy when it comes to this screen, especially when it's outside in bright sunlight. 
this thing gets crazy bright, all right? The fact of how bright this thing gets is just unreal and battery life to the point where I'm even sleeping with this and doing my sleep tracking and different things like that because I don't have to go throw it on a charger at the end of the day because it's dead, all right? That's the reason why I love the Apple Watch Ultra. I think I'm gonna actually do a video talking about this because I'm just very impressed with this. Sailor connectivity, the durability of it, just everything in a package. I love it. I love the Apple Watch Ultra. So if you're a regular person out there, someone who likes, who like me, I'm working from home all day. Guess what? I can still enjoy the Apple Watch Ultra because of the core functions that it does, all right? And then wrapped around the Ultra is gonna be my Nomad Sport Band. Now this right here has been my go-to band probably since I first got it. Maybe, I don't know, almost a year ago when I got this band. This is one band that I am just hard to draw away from. I mean, it's just, it is very durable. I've used this thing day in and day out. I've been in water. I've did everything with this watch band. It's never discolored. It's never broke. And it looks very nice going along with this Ultra because it still has a rugged look, although it's very simple. You have a bunch of different adjustments that you can make to get that right fit on it. And I just love this band. I know a lot of you guys love it as well. The, 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 the sport band for Nomad just gets it done. They make this in different colors. They got this band, and then they also have a version two of the sport band that doesn't look as rugged. It performs the exact same, so it's all personal preference. So you're getting these in different colors. You already know the link will be down below to grab yourself up one. Just love this band. It's just perfect for everyday use. Now this next product, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't like to leave the house with them, but I do from time to time. I just recently left the house with them and I lost it. And that's gonna be my AirPods Pro 2s. Yes, this is um, a replacement pair because I, I lost my other ones when I left about the house, all right? So this is a sensitive thing for me. I love my AirPods. My AirPods are probably my most used Apple product out there between work calls, personal calls, listening to YouTube, you know, being in live streams, different things like that. I always have an AirPod in my ear. My girlfriend's like, you probably have your AirPod in your ear more than you talking to me, man. So just gets the job done. Now, this is going to be the second generation version. Now, if you're out there and you're like, you know what? There's no big deal coming from my first gen. It's not going to be that big of a difference. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not an audio person, all right? I just like basic, good sounding audio, but the audio quality that comes out of these, the adaptive transparency mode, and the noise cancellation on these, unreal, especially the noise cancellation. I didn't think you can get any better than the Gen 1s. The noise canceling these is just absolutely amazing. And then you add the volume control on the stems, that alone right there, and it's a little funny, uh, you know, it's a little funny motion to kind of get used to when you're talking about running your hand finger up and down, but it's a very natural feel after you do it a little bit. It's going to be a natural feel to you, and you're not going to have anything to worry about, man. This also works with wireless charging. They got the speaker on the outside, so when you drop it down, you're going to get that audible sound, let you know it's charging. So the Gen 2s, honestly, has some very nice improvements, so don't think you're not getting an improvement if you want to go to these. These things are actually very good, all right? And then what's wrapped around it is gonna be my Sandmark leather case. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Sandmark sent me this a long time ago with some cases. I threw it on my AirPods and guess what? I never took it off. It's just, <laughs> it gets the job done. Has a little area so you can show that light. This one doesn't have a cutout for the actual speaker or anything like that on it, but it works just fine. And it's been taking a beating. You can see some marks up there, but it's never popped off. Just a, a solid AirPod case, all right? You can go grab this from Sam Mark website. I think this is gonna be like 40 bucks, but these are one of these things that's been on my, my AirPods for months, Just put up there, forget it. Don't have to worry about it. But AirPods, I, I cannot live without these. If I lose these today, I'm going to buy another pair today. Next up, you already know it's gonna be a very controversial Apple product. We always say that, man, and that's gonna be the Apple MagSafe battery pack. And just like I said before, I got the Big Boy 14 Pro Max, and usually when I leave up at the house, I'm not worried about battery, but if there's gonna be a situation where I'm on my battery and on my phone hard, all I do is just leave up out the house, slap this thing up here, and then go about my day. And I think a lot of people always say, get this mixed up, because they look at this as a battery charger, but it's not. It's a battery extender. You can use this on your phone for a good bit of time and look at your battery, and you're still sitting at around 90%. And then once this is depleted, you take this off your phone, throw it back in your pocket, throw it back in your car, and guess what? You have an iPhone that's still ready to go for almost an entire day, all right? So this is the reason why I like to keep this with me. This just kind of stays in the car, stays in my pocket if I know I have a busy day. Very slim, just gets the job done. And guess what? Even if you get in the pinch, you can throw your AirPods up here and you can charge your AirPods up there as well, man. So this is something that I just like to keep on me, keep in the car, 
just for emergency situations if I know I'm gonna need that extra capacity when it comes to battery to get me through that day. Now, real quick, remember how I told you everything isn't gonna be tech related? Yeah, this is what it is, man. I gotta have me some 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 chapstick, all right? Now, like I said, it's cold outside. It's getting a little bit of cold. Don't let your lips get out there and get all chapped and crazy looking, man. Very simple, very easy. Put the Amazon link down there so you can grab this up, man. So y'all make sure y'all have your lips up on deck, McKenzie. There's nothing worse than you go out there and trying to talk to a lady and your lips is as white as, I don't know, white as AirPods or something crazy like that, man. So make sure you got your chapstick on deck. This has always got the job done. So links in the links down there in the description. Get yourself some chapstick, man. Just a, a not sponsored, but it should be because I've been using this for years. <laughs> Now, one thing, of course, I'm not leaving up outside of the house is that's going to be my wallet. And I am using a Ridge wallet. Now, I'm not going to take my cards out of here because these are my personal cards that I am working with. But this Ridge wallet is, I love it. All right. This is another thing that I'll probably own for a very long time. And then this one I've had for a while. This one has been beat up. This one has been showing some wear and tear. But it's nothing like having a very thin wallet in your pocket. And you also can slide money with this money clip right here. You can slide money in it and you are good to go. Ridge has many different designs that you can use that you can choose from for your wallet i think they hold up to like eight or 12 cards as you can see i have a good bit of cards right in there a lot you should not be having those fat dead wallets all right it is time to get rid of those things retire those those days are played out no get you something very thin get you something that's very minimalistic throw in your pocket that doesn't bulge out even you can put this in your front pocket very thin, all right? Love me Ridge wallets, man. So go out there and pick yourself up one. I've been using Ridge for a few years now, and I just love it. They're doable. They get the job done, and they also look very dope, all right? You don't got to have any plain Jane wallets out there. So go pick yourself up a Ridge wallet. Now, setting this to the side, let's talk about something else when we are talking about Ridge, all right? Now, I don't have to have my bulky keys up here jingling around and doing all types of stuff, but one thing I did take off of my keychain is going to be my key case right here from Ridge, all right? I love this thing. I did not think that I was going to love this little key case until I actually got it, loaded my keys up here. And this is one of those items that I kind of just put my keys in there and never thought of again. A set and forget when it comes to products and just absolutely amazing. Right now, I only have three keys in there. I have, I usually add more if I'm going to my brother's house or something. I could put about two more keys up here, but simple it doesn't it, it, you know it kind of cuts down on all the clutter that's on your keychain so i really like what's going on with this ridge key case it just keeps everything protected and when you need your key just pop it out fan through it boom and use the key and you are good to go man so of course you can get a ridge key case that kind of matches your wallet i think i gave my brother my other wallet so i'm using this one this is going to be the burnt titanium but they have many different variations that you can choose from when it comes to the key case all right absolutely love this thing right here i think everybody should invest in a key case if you don't have one and if you don't carry a bunch of keys this is a very clean way to keep everything organized and the last thing right here probably my most recent addition to my everyday carry is going to be my peter tag from pataka all right now this thing right here is going to be it, it, it's like a multi-tool all right number one it's an air tag holder that is on my keys and i just literally just popped them off my keys because it has a little a clip that just clips onto your keychain i keep this on my keys for one it's got an air tag holder but the one thing that i love about it is these are multi-tools that go all the way around it so this one is going to be a phillip head this one is going to be a flat tip. This one is going to be a little knife, all right, which is clutch because if you got kids, when you buy them a to new toy, guess what? You have to get into those toys right away. So it's good to have a little knife up there. And this one is kind of like, I think it said a key tool, a key tool or something like that, almost like a star bit, but it's like a different head as well. So this right here is just very clutch. You know, in situations where you may need a small screwdriver, where you may need to cut something open. Now, you're not going to sit there and cut cardboard boxes with this. But if you get something small that got like a little seal and just bust it open, it's perfectly fine for little things like this, man. This thing is doable. I'm talking about heavy duty, very nicely made from Pataka right here. You can see that Pataka branding. It's just something to throw on your keychain, but you can use it as a multi-tool as well. So, absolutely perfect when it comes to everyday carry. So, Pataka Peter Tag, you got the key case. You got your Ridge wallet, you got your AirPods, you got your Apple Max A battery pack. The most important thing, chapstick, and you got your 14 Pro Max, man. Everything right here is what I use on my everyday carry. And every time I leave about the house, these things are with me, man. So 
Hope y'all enjoyed the video. All the links to everything that I talked about will be down in the description below. And also in the comments, let me know some EDC items that you can't live without. I'm always curious to hear what you guys carry day in and day out. But y'all already know what the time it is, man. Make sure you get subbed up. Oh, and also Apple Watch. Forgot about that. Get subbed up, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button, turn those bell on, so you know I'm hitting you with some more future cases and accessories for the 14 Pro Max, all right? Y'all be easy. Stay safe. Catch you on the next one.